Hello, my dear friends, top producers out there. Let's talk about real estate and one of the most important thing in our business, and that is the listing presentation. Oh my gosh, I love the listing presentation. It's one of my favorite part of selling real estate is the whole presentation. So I hope you guys are working on it, are practicing. So today I wanna to share with you guys some of my strategies, some of my view and the way I do it. Uh, many of the things that I learned from my coach, Tom Ferry, my fabulous coach, and some of the things I do personally that really help me to have a fantastic listening presentation and a conversion of uh, between 90 to 95 percent. And I know that because I tracked it, I, you know, I always track and measure my numbers. So let me share with you guys some of the things. First of all, I want you to understand the mindset, okay? The mindset here is know everything you know, you can know about the client so you can provide the right information, okay? Always be ready. Every time you go to a listening presentation, go completely ready to present in level 10. Even if they tell you, we're not ready, we just want to talk to you, you know, we're going to sell in two months. I want you to know that your middle name is ready. Be ready because people sometimes just say, I'm not ready, just because they don't want to make any commitment and they, you know, they just want to take a little time and sometimes just afraid of making any big decision, okay? So be ready every time you go. So number one, what is the first step? Like Tom said, know your client. Guys and girls, I will never go to a listening presentation without knowing everything. So please go to through your 10 questions from the pre-call questions that I have, that I have sent it to you. Because again, we cannot help anyone if we don't know why they're selling, how soon they wanna get it sold, who else they're talking to, they don't need, right? They're talking to you, the number one, the best one, I should say. Um, the timing, what price they have in mind, what question they might have, right? And uh, tell me a little bit about the house so you also understand the house and also know the personality style. And, you know, prepare them for the listening presentation. So you pre-call them and you, you know, do some research. It's always good to know who you're meeting with, right? He might be a CEO of a great company that you're already doing business with. So know everything, okay? Google your next uh, client. Find out what he's doing. He'll be happy to know that you know what's going on. And of course, pre-qualify. Uh, number two is do your homework, okay? Do your homework. Do your CMA, your, your comparative market analysis. Uh, go preview some of the homes. You've got to know what's going on. Listen, the difference between a amateur an amateur and a pro is the pro is the expert. He knows what's going on. Know your stats, okay? Study the market, preview the homes, okay? So once you know everything, now you are ahead of the game. So now, number three step, and the same thing that I learned from Tom, is send a nice bonbon -bon video or just a regular nice video through the email and tell them, hey John, I'm so excited about meeting you tonight at seven. Thank you for your time. By the way, please take five minutes to look at my reviews, my testimonials that I have here attached. I'm sending this video because I also wanna say how excited I am to meet you today. And yeah, take a look at my reviews. I also have here my plan of action, all the great steps that I'm gonna to do to get your home sold for the highest price, and my beautiful, awesome marketing machine. Again, so you see all the marketings that I do, all the great stuff that I do to get your home sold. Take, a, take you know, five minutes, take a look, and tonight, when I come over, we're gonna go over the market and the comparative market analysis so you know what's going on. Sounds good? Send that the video. Attach your reviews, attach your testimonial. Okay, so now that's step number three. So step number four. And that's something that Tom says in the video too, and I did forever, and I, guys, I tell you a story about that. Listen, go early, okay? Go early to the listening appointment. Go 10 minutes early, drive around, take a look in the neighborhood, make sure there is no for sale by owner in the area. Can you imagine? You go to the listening presentation and the seller goes, hey, Vanda, tell me how much my neighbor is selling his home for, and you don't know. You know, it just makes you look dumb, unprepared, unprofessional. 
drive by. If you see a home that on your CMA said uh, for sale and now you see a for, uh, sold sign on it, call the agent. Hey, you got an offer on it? Fantastic. You know, did you go well? How many offers you had? You see, once you're there talking to the seller, the more you know, the more expert you sound like, he's going to like you more. You sound more professional, more prepared, way ahead of the game, okay? So drive early. So what I did too, guys, I had my pre-listing routine, okay? So drive early, dress up for the $10 million listing, dress up to win, right? Get there early, find where the house is, and then drive a little bit away and put yourself in a zone. I always had my pre-listing routine. I sit down and don't laugh because this works. It just raises my energy, brings me to a whole different level in terms of uh, enthusiasm and connection. Plus, I really believe in programming myself and condition myself to win. So this is what I do. I sit in my car and I start rubbing my hands together and I say, this is my listing. This is my listing. They want me. They need me. I'm the best for them. This is my listing because I'm most prepared. I know what I'm doing. And I'm the best for them. I'm going to get it. And this is my listing. So I get myself in the zone. I get myself pretty much in the highest level of state of mind. And then I go there. Okay? So once you get there, of course, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole process here because you should and you must see the amazing, great show from Tom Ferry, number, show uh, number 56, where he walks you through this. Now, I tell you something. I would love you to, after you see the house, take them to the, um, to the dining room table, sit down, make sure you know their names, right? So you don't go, folks, folks, no, know their names really well. And then do a little recap what you're going to do. Prepare them. Like, you know, now, John and Mary, this is what we're going to do because it's good to give them a good direction. So Tom says, tell them a story right away. And I love that because yes, selling is asking great question, but also when you tell people a story, they really can understand better. You know, it's just, it, it goes a long way. Now, let me tell you something that I do that works for me really well, and um, it helps to break the resistance and helps them to understand that we are in the same team. So when I sit down, I said, John, Mary, before I start, let me tell you something that, I, that I'm that i gonna do, that I am, that's about me to help you. I want you to know just two things about me. Number one, I'm here on your team. I'm here to get you the highest price for your home, to get you the best result, okay? So I'm on your team, I'm on your side. That's number one, I'm on your team. Number two is, I'll tell you only the truth. I'm here, I'm the expert, you call me for a reason, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to say anything just to make you happy or believing that uh, that's what, this is what you want to hear to get the listing. I'm going to tell you the truth because this is who I am and I'm here to help you to, help you, to get your home sold. Sounds good? Good. So then do what Tom tells you to do because it's fantastic. Start with the story, tell them you know, what you did for other people just like them and then you did such a great job and you got the home sold. Okay, now I recommend you to see Tom Ferry, show 56, several times, write it down, some great stuff, and use it. I recommend you to see my video on pricing, so you know to, when you go over the CMA, you can explain them how the buyers see value and how we, the three ways we can price a home for sale. Guys and girls, there is no reason to invent the wheel. There are tons of stuff out there, great strategies, great, great way of doing things. Please emulate. Please use what some of the top people have done so you can use it. Practice, practice, and then do it. Price the house well. Now that you already priced the home, do another step that is fundamental. It doesn't matter if you really believe you priced them really well, still prepare them to go on the market. John and Mary, now that we priced the home, by the way, Great price, I believe we price really competitive. Thank you for trusting me. Now let me tell you what's gonna happen once we go on the market. Please go back and see my video on Van der Marta channel on YouTube because I also have that part where I prepare them. One of three things gonna happen. Number one, you get the home sold right away. Bam, you got an offer, the buyer was waiting for you. Great, that's what I want. So it means we price right. 
That's awesome. Number two is we have people coming in and out of the house, people looking, people calling on it, no offers. John and Mary, that means we are priced a little too high. We get an activity, but no offers, so we are too high. Otherwise, we would have an offer, even if it was a low offer, okay? So understand that. Number three, and I don't think is, I don't believe it's your case, but I want you to know that if you don't have anyone looking, no, no calls, no activity at all, activity at all means we are so high, we are out of the market. Then that's the wrong strategy, so we got to adjust right away. Anyways, this is what's going to happen. In 15 days, we're going to be talking about this. And if we don't have, we don't have any offer, we're going to talk about the right strategy to do, okay? Meanwhile, of course, you can reach me anytime you want. You know, I already told you my schedule between 8.30 and 10.30. I'm out on the phone talking to people, looking for your buyers. So if you need me between 8.30 and 10.30, leave a message or you can talk to my assistant. And meanwhile, I'll call you once a week and let you know what's going on so you are well informed. And of course, I can call you anytime if I have something very important to you, for you. Meanwhile, know that I'm always available always available for you. You know I'm not out there playing golf. I'm here working. My team is here to give you and provide you the best first class service. So I am on top of everything and I can't wait to get your home sold and get you the best result. So thank you very much. So prepare them. Prepare them for the right price. Prepare them for the price adjustment. Prepare them for your uh, communication with them, prepare them for everything, and you can still say in the end, and by the way, I want to ask you one quick favor. After I leave here and, you know, as you go on with your life, you're going to be excited and talking to people about selling your home. So that's awesome. So now you're going to hear of other people thinking about selling or buying. Would you do me a favor? Would you call me ASAP and let me know who else needs my help? Because I would love to help them as well. I appreciate you, Johnny Mary. Thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to helping you. So again, preparation makes life easier, makes business way easier and more effective and efficient. So prepare yourself, practice, practice, practice. If you're not going to three listening presentation a week, right now you should practice minimum once a week so you keep yourself in the game really warm and sharp. Let me know if you have any question. Put a comment here. Uh, send me a, a message if you have any question or any request about another video. I love you guys. You know I do everything from my heart right to you. So thanks again. Stay strong and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.